What's up my crew members, my name is Andrew from the Superhero Crew and uh, yeah, I am back and I started school again, or well, started college, first year of college, so it's kind of been a little bit crazy, but I have been doing the Superhero Crew podcast and if you're not watching that, go check it out because it's pretty fun, me and Rob and Coach sometimes talk about some new stuff that come that's coming out and different things and that's where basically the house and powers of or well house of x powers of 10 reviews are going they're going to be on the podcast because that i would like to i want to talk to rob about that because rob's a big x-men fan so that is on the superhero crew podcast so if you're wondering why i haven't been doing videos on that number one it's on the superhero crew podcast number two i started college so that's why there haven't really been any videos but i'm back with a bang i'm gonna try my best to be doing these weekly comic book reviews because I like doing them but also I feel bad for you guys because I haven't been doing them but anyway let's start off again with a bang Spider-Man number one this is the biggest deal I guess of the week really a new number one a new miniseries written by J.J. Abrams. Yes, J.J. Abrams. If you don't know, J.J. Abrams and his son Henry Abrams are writing this Spider-Man book and the arts by Sarah Pacelli. So I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very interested, I guess you could say, to see what would happen with something like this. How could somebody like J.J. Abrams really do a comic book because he's been doing movies you know what I mean it's a different medium so it's kind of interesting for, to see him go from director to comic book writer even though it's more of his son writing the book and JJ Abrams is kind of just looking over his shoulder at least that's what I heard I don't know how true that is but that's what I've heard and now that I actually have this in hand I'm kind of excited to see how this is but before I do talk about how this was if this is your first time here why don't you consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and we do the superhero crew podcast every week I also I'm trying to do some Lego videos I kind of slacked off like I said because of college for the last like month or so um, but yeah, so like I said, Superhero Crew Podcast, subscribe for all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be spoiling this, so get it, come back, and then watch this, the rest of the video, because I will be spoiling this if you care, but if you don't care, well, let me tell you what happened in this book. So it starts off with Spider-Man basically under a bunch of rubble on a bridge, and Mary Jane is going and looking for Spider-Man and basically they make a little joke I guess and then this villain Cadaverous, this new villain, the new Spider-Man villain shows up and with a bunch of these minion dudes and they basically start attacking Spider-Man and Cadaverous kills Mary Jane. Yes, kills Mary Jane. Then uh, Spider-Man said and we go to Mary Jane's funeral and we see that well, they had a son. Peter and Mary Jane had a son. And obviously it's, his name is Ben Parker. Then, for no reason, we cut to 12 years later. This was the point where I was like, ah, you're doing one of these, really? I was kind of like, oh, what are you doing here? Like the, I understand that this is obviously out of continuity and we're not regarding this in any continuity now that you know Mary Jean's fucking dead and it's 12 years later. I get it. But why? Well, we continue uh uh we we see Ben Parker's daily routine in in the morning. He goes to school, throws a bully across the hall into a into a into a classroom. Then we see Peter picks up Ben from school, and Peter has a, uh, well, no, he's got no hand. He doesn't have a hand. And, uh, he's like, he's like, with great, mm, with great power, mm, no, 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 never mind. And then Ben goes back to Aunt May's house. Yes, Aunt May is still alive. And uh, he breaks the door because his spider powers, I guess, are starting to manifest. Um, then in detention, 
P uh, not Peter, Ben meets this girl and something stupid about like, oh, he touches women, so I had to make a stink and I get detention. So this, 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 this chick is makes, uh, do saying this thing. Okay. Then we see Cadaverous eating a sausage and there is someone in a, uh, a, a, a Bacta tank, if, you know, if this was Star Wars. But uh, is it Mary Jane? Possibly, we'll see. Um, then, Ben, and, uh, not Ben, now I'm getting them screwed up. Aunt May and Peter are talking on the phone and they're basically like, you know, Ben, he's getting powers. And Peter's like, I gotta go. And then he hangs up and he goes on a flight because he's got business meetings or whatever. And Ben is having some weird dream and then he wakes up on the ceiling because it's like I said, his spider powers are manifesting. And May tells Ben to go up into the attic and he finds the Spider-Man suit. And that's it. That's where this ends. What did I think of this? Well, once it got to 12 years later, I was kind of, oh, we're doing one of these. But as I read on, it kind of grew on me. Now, that's not to say that this doesn't have any problems. This does have some problems, which I'll get into. Um, the art's actually really good. A couple times I was a little iffy, but the main problem is that a bunch of the times, or well, not, not a bunch of times, but sometimes it jumps. Like, the next page, we're just somewhere else. Completely different. There's no smooth transition in between, which is a little annoying, I guess. It just jumps to another scene. Which is a little annoying, and I was getting thrown off a little bit. I don't know if that was me, but personally, it was just throwing me off for no reason. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about this, because it started off like stupid and confusing, but ended off actually not bad. So overall, this wasn't great like I thought it might be, and this wasn't horrible like I also thought it might be. It was okay, and it was it was just okay. That's it. It was okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. But I will be getting a second issue, I think, or at least finishing the series if it's not garbage in the next issue. And obviously, like I said, this is out of continuity, so it's interesting. We're getting another out of continuity Spider-Man book, like we got Spider-Man Life Story, and now we're getting this just adjectiveless Spider-Man. And they, they, they really make it this a big deal because this is five bucks and it's like this different material here. This is like a different material and the number one is right in a little different. So they're really making this a big deal. But like I said, it was just okay. But that's it for this video, guys. If you liked the video, why don't you give this video a like. Check out some of the other videos we have here posted on the channel, which I'll have linked right here from the end screen. And also, let me know if you read Spider-Man number one down in the comments below, because I want to hear from you guys as well. So comment down below, let me know what you thought, and we can talk more down there. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one.